a couple teaching points, learning points out of another very tragic incident at a Dave and Buster's restaurant in Jacksonville, Florida, totally avoidable, emphasizes that when you allow yourself to become offended, impatient, or frustrated by someone, you're liable to end up saying you're doing something that could escalate the situation. And number two, the big other, uh, other second, a big learning point here is your tone of voice, how you talk to people can potentially escalate a situation if you're not careful. So on this particular day, witnesses said this cook came into work and was in a bad mood. Folks, right off the bat, that tells us that this individual was dealing with some stuff. He was stressed, he was agitated, and we know that when you're stressed, lack of sleep, you're hungry, you're tired, you're, you're ill, you are more likely than not to be offended much more easily by things that people say and do around you. Apparently, he's going through some stuff. He was there in a bad mood. One of the other employees made a comment in what witnesses described as a strong tone, told the cook, put the food right there. Maybe he didn't mean it to sound that way, but again, the cook, really took offense to that and even made the comment that I'm a grown bleep man don't talk to me that way let's go back to the employee who used a strong tone of voice maybe he's going through something too maybe he's frustrated impatient or all that and his tone of voice unfortunately showed where he was at mentally and emotionally and it triggered the cook who was already dealing with some stuff and the man the cook took offense how dare you talk to me this way makes a comment i'm a grown bleep to cut that out i'm a grown ass man <laughs> don't talk to me that way next thing you know they get into a fight and the cook unfortunately beat this other guy to death in a nutshell folks when you let yourself become frustrated impatient or offended by someone you're likely to be the one to say or do something that escalates it also your tone of voice how you talk to someone can either begin the de-escalation process or escalate it. I'll see you on the next video.